Hello and welcome to my Tarot Corner. So today I'm going to start with explaining why I have this card here. So this is the death card from the Golden Tarot, which is the Visconti Sports Tarot. And if you remember, a, a while ago I told you that a, a Dior did a whole a fashion... A, well, a fashion show, a whole fashion uh, collection that was inspired by tarot cards. And these were the cards, the Visconti Sporza card. Now, the reason I decided to take out the death card out of this deck is because uh, this reading is about change. Now, whether or not it's going to be a good change or a bad change, this is exactly what we're going to do. So this reading is going to follow the death card. Now, naturally, we're talking about the Sussexes and they are talking about changing the way that they are uh, approaching things. They do not want... They are, uh, moving away from their own uh, stories, their own, uh, 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 well, the, the stories about their own families, and now they want to do things that are feel-good, entertainment, rom-coms, things like that. And, um, well, uh, a rom-com can be very tricky because it can very easily go uh, into a very bad place of a Hallmark f uh, movie and Megan has very good uh, experience with that and maybe I should say a very bad experience with that because if you saw, if you saw her movies and I did, uh, they're not the best of movies and I have to say that they're not different from any other Hallmark movies because all of the Hallmark movies follow the same formula, the same, the same, um, well, the same feel-good uh, movies, but none of them are a pretty woman. And uh, since uh, Megan already started, as one, someone said, a... a spreading uh, clues as to her um, rom-com uh, desire in her Vanity Fair uh, interview when she said that she want, that she that uh, uh, she is a sucker for rom-coms and that uh, what happened to uh, good rom-coms and someone should start doing good rom-coms and she also said that uh, she that her best that the best rom com she that the the that the one rom com that she loves the most is Harry when Harry met Sally. But she also loves every movie that Julia Roberts uh, participated in. So she has a long way uh, to go if she wants to do something like when Harry met Sally or any of Julia Roberts movies if her experience is a Hallmark movies. So uh, this is on one side. On the other side, articles are coming out saying that they are toxic. And one royal expert called Sarah Uton said that they are too toxic for public appearances. So it seems like they, this is an upheaval of faith. These are changes for the worst. So um, I got someone on Twitter that tweeted to me uh, about the fact that they were not, uh, were not, um, invited to Oprah's uh, birthday party uh, uh, and giving me the example that they were invited to Ellen's 
uh, birthday party as an example that they are not ostracized in Hollywood. And I say that this is exactly the example to show that they are, because Ellen is not a very good person to be associated with. So it doesn't look like people in Hollywood that really do, um, do uh, well, uh, care about their own reputation or people that are uh, ha that have a good name uh, want to be in contact with the Sussexes. So, uh, and Harry keeps on being the laughing stock of uh, Hollywood in the latest Grammy Award. He was, uh, his, his Todger was uh, once again uh, uh, one of the jokes uh, and this time the uh, presenter was even uh, one of Megan's um, one of Megan's um, podcast uh, guests, but this 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 didn't change anything, and uh, Harry was still a laughing stock. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a death card reading in which I'm going to look into the changes regarding Harry and Meghan. And are these changes going to be for the better? Are they going to be to the worse? Are they going to be able to recover their name? What do they need to look into? Uh, what are the things that are lost forever? So, because when the death card arrives, it is about changes that are completely nullifying things that were before. This is about killing the past and starting, starting a new life. This is about a, something that is completely new. So, is this new life going to be better or is it going to be worse? Okay, so I'm using the tattoo, the Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot. It's a very beautiful tarot deck. And let's start by saying my, complete, my disclaimer. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation. And as such, may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. Okay, so let me finish this and clear the deck. Okay, so Harry and Megan's changes. Are these changes going to be for the better or for the worse? Are they going to recover their uh, reputation or are they going to be even furthermore ostracized in Hollywood? Are they going to succeed in their plans for uh, starting a feel-good rom-coms entertainment or is it going to fail? Harry and Meghan's plan for changes in their reputation, in the way that the world sees them? Are they going to succeed in changing the way they are seen? Are they going to uh, change for the better or for the worse? What is going to be the change and Will it be on the good side? Will it be on the bad side? What can we see for the changes for Harry and Megan? Okay, so let's cut the deck. The first card will show us the things that they have lost forever, the things that they cannot recover. What is ending and cannot be changed? And the card that I'm getting is the Two of Cups. Okay, so the Two of Cups, that is a card of, first of all, a lot of feelings, but it is also a card that speaks about becoming active and, and not 
passive. This is about being the suitor and not waiting to be active. And this is lost. So because it is lost, we are seeing a passivity. We are seeing a couple that is waiting for things to happen by themselves. They will not gain any kind of ability to start doing by things by themselves. This is not a very good omen. Uh, we would have expected them to, if, to start something new. So when you start something new, you're supposed to start being more active, to have ideas, to start being more, uh, uh, more uh, creative. This is a card that shows passivity when it is badly aspected. And because we are looking at things that are lost forever, we need to look at the uh, bad aspects of this card. It's like getting the two of cups in the reverse. But as I said, I'm not reading reversals, but when I'm getting a, a card in a, in a negative aspect, in a negative place, I'm looking at the negative aspects of this card. And this card, when it, keep, when it is uh, in the negative, we see people that are following others in, with eyes closed, with shut eyes. This leads to mistakes. This leads to people that are believing that things just are just happening by themselves, that everything that is happening for, to them is just happening because it's nothing to do with the things that they are doing. It has nothing to do with the way that they act. It just happens from above. It has nothing to do with what they do. They don't see the connection between the things that are happening to them then to their own actions. And this is a very bad thing. They need to start looking at the, their own responsibility. And this card shows that they cannot see their own responsibility to things. It shows that there is no, that they don't see any use in actions because they don't see that any action can lead to change. And this is very, very sad. So first of all, this is something that we see that they, they are losing their ability to connect to reality. They are losing their ability to understand that the things that they are doing have consequences. Once they are starting to believe that everything is just happening by itself and has, it's, has nothing to do with the thing that they have doing, that they are doing, they are losing connections with reality. So this is really very, very sad. Okay, so the next card is who, where, the, who were they before this changed or and who uh, who they, who can they no longer be and that is and for this car, uh, question i'm going to take two cards one for prince harry and one for megan because i think that they are not unison in this uh, question because each of them were a different person so who was Prince Harry before this change? And the answer is the Six of Swords. So this is a card of someone who went away, who left. This is a card and we saw, we see, we saw that. This is exactly what we saw. We saw a person who was looking for some way of leaving. He left his family behind. He went away into the sunset. He just left and he cannot go back. This is something that uh, this card is telling him. This, car, this is something that cannot be reversed. He cannot go back. And many people say that, that Harry's way back to Britain, way back to his family is obstructed. It's uh, impossible. Maybe he can go back to his family as a private person, but not as a working royal. He will never be accepted back in the UK. And this card shows that very well. So this card shows that he left everything behind and he just went away 
and he cannot go back. So this is who he was before this change, a person who left everything he had behind and he cannot go back. Who was Megan before this change? And we're talking about before this, uh, the, the opera interview, before the, uh, well, mainly before the uh, uh, Netflix live commentary. And we're getting here the two of pentacles or the two of wands. Let me see. Just one moment. One moment. Okay, so that's not pentacle, that's not wands, that's the three of cups. Okay. So Megan was someone who used to celebrate. She was celebrating. Before all of that, she was someone who was celebrating, she was uh, del in, in, uh, delving in pleasures, having fun, going to parties, uh, partying with girlfriends, probably uh, uh, having, the, the, having the time of her life maybe, probably, uh, before their uh, reputation went bonkers, let's say that way, uh, before people started uh, looking at them in the wrong way. At when, the time, when she went to, to the Ripple of Hope of, uh, 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 Awards, but even in private, uh, when she went to a Gloria Steinem birthday, and probably other private occasions, she partied, she was drinking, she maybe was taking other substances, but she partied, and this is something that is not coming back. So this it shows that she will never be accepted back to the partying, uh, to partying uh, part of Hollywood. She will never be accepted back to that echelon of friends that she had, or that echelon of uh, uh, people that are getting awards. She won't get that back. So this is a major change for her. And this is something that maybe she's not aware of. But uh, this is a very big change. She is still uh, maybe del delusional and thinks that uh, she is, uh, she's maybe she might be uh, Get, getting that back, but this card, when it's badly aspected, and we see it, it, and it is badly aspected, it shows loss of trust, and this is exactly why people won't get, take her back, because they lost trust with her. It also shows superficial relationships. And all of those friendships were also superficial relationships. None of those friendships were real friendships, deep friendships. It's all very superficial. It's all very uh, chasing pleasures. It's all very superficial treatment of problems. She was never really deep. She never really delved into problems. She never really uh, looked into things. And people see that. And people, and now when, when they are outed as, a, first of all, liars, and then as people who do not keep the privacy of other people, then nobody will accept her into uh, Hollywood parties, into, uh, well, let me go on a limb and tell you that I don't believe that she will go on a red carpet again, at least not in the next year. Because, you know, every tarot reading has this time limit. So usually the, 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 the longest that a tarot reading has a time limit is a, a year. So at least in the next year, she will not go on a red carpet. Okay, so that is what they lost. Okay, who do they, be, uh, who does Harry oh, have to change to? Uh, one, this, okay, so who, okay, let's, let me rephrase that. 
Who the, let, this is another uh, question that I'm going to take two uh, cards, one for Harry, one for Megan. And this is about who do they have a chance of becoming after this change is over. Because this is, uh, the cha this is a process of change. Now, this change can be for the better or for the worse. And uh, in every change, there is a possibility to change for the better. So this chance of changing for the better is a very, uh, it's, a, it's a chance that you need to grasp. So who, what kind of chance does Harry have for changing uh, in, before this change be is over? And what we're getting here is the Eight of Pentacles. So Harry needs to understand that money comes after working hard. And he will have the chance of being someone who works hard for the money, but he will be acknowledged as someone who works hard, who is getting the money who de he deserves, and he is someone who is ready to learn. The Eight of Cups, uh, of Pentacles is the card of the apprentice, someone who is ready to learn the craft in order to become the master. So this is Harry's chance to become the master, to become the one uh, who is ready to learn, ready to work hard in order to become someone who will get paid a lot. But this is the, 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 um, the uh, phase in which he's not getting paid a lot. So he will have to, uh, first of all, not expect to get millions of dollars for his work. And he will have to expect to understand that he will have to work hard for the money. But he has this chance of grasping this and becoming someone who is respected because he's working hard. So he has this chance of grasping this uh, opportunity before this chance is before this change is over what kind of opportunity does Megan have does she have any what does what do we get and we get the Queen of Pentacles so she does have an opportunity and she has the opportunity to be the Queen of Pentacles which is an amazing card she can become a someone who can control the material world the, the, the Queen of Pentacles is the shopkeeper. She is someone who knows business, someone who can uh, control money, someone who can control business, someone who is, knows, how to, um, to, how, knows how to keep st stability in face of change. So she has this uh, opportunity to become this shopkeeper. And first and then the question is whether or not she will grasp this opportunity. And I suppose that this is something that she really, really wants. So I am sure that she will try to grasp this opportunity. But this is an opportunity that she has. And this is something that is open to her in this process of change. Uh, maybe not as not because of work, maybe because she will be able to attract someone who might be uh, might be willing to give her uh, chances that uh, others won't. But uh, and uh, as far as I understand, uh, the relationship with Gordon Getty could be around. Some pay people say that it's about them trying to convince him to do a, a program about his life. Some people say that she wants uh, him to cast here, to cast her in a, a, a movie about Liz Taylor's life. Uh, I don't know exactly, but maybe this is what we're talking about. So, but she has this chance. So, let's see what we have next. 
So, the next card is, will Harry take that chance? And the card that I'm getting here is the Ten of Pentacles. So, yeah. Looks like Harry will take that chance. This is a yes card. And this is a card of family. This is a card of richness. And this is, doesn't have to be going back to the royal family. But this is a card of someone who does take care of his own family. But because this is a card of family of, a, a, let's say, a, um, grandfathers and all uh, generational uh, family, it might be some about talking about going back to his own family. But this is a yes card. This is a person that will take the chance uh, of working for his money. So he will take that chance. Will Megan take that chance? And we get the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, she will take that chance as well. So will it be together? That is a very good question. So let's see, let's see that what the answer is. And f just pay attention that it's all Pentacles. All of these cards are Pentacles. So uh, both his card, his cards are Pentacles. Her cards are Pentacles, and it's all about money. And her cards are major money uh, grabbers. So, but his cards are money grabbers as well. So is it going to be together or are they going to be apart? So let's see what is going to be the answer. So the, uh, the question is, are they going to be together at this? And the answer is the two of pentacles and it came in the reverse. So this is another pentacle card. And I did shuffle a lot. You saw me shuffle at the beginning of the video. And although there are timestamps for those who wanted to um, um, jump to the reading, the Two of Pentacles, that is a card of the liberation. This is a card of a fake conflict. And this is another pentacle card. So it shows us that there is going to be a conflict here, but this is a fake conflict. And it shows that uh, this is not a straight answer. This is not something that is really, uh, this is not something that is a straight answer. This is a message card with a tendency to a no, and uh, most probably it won't be together. Uh, you can see that this lady here has to shuffle those cards. Uh, it means for them to be able to sh do those things together, it means a lot of shuffling around. It, it almost impo it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible for Harry to be someone who works hard and not earning a lot and for Megan to be the queen of pentacles and to be together. It's almost an impossible task. So this is about a, uh, some kind of a conflict. It is connected to money because I suppose that uh, any kind of divorce uh, between them will be connected to money as well. But it is a fake conflict because they will know exactly uh, that they cannot solve this problem. They cannot solve this conflict without a divorce. And since he's going about towards that 100%, but he's going towards that with the Ten of Pentacles, which is also a generational family card, and she's going towards that with the Ace of Pentacles, which is about getting what she needs. This is about getting her needs realized. She doesn't care about anything else. She cares only about getting her needs. So she doesn't care. She, she doesn't care about emotions. She doesn't care about anything else, only her needs. So the answer is probably no. So probably a divorce. Okay, next card is what do they have to mourn? until they finish this process. So how can they, so this, there is this loss that they are going to uh, experience 
and they will have to mourn it. So what it, will they have to mourn? And what we're getting here is strength. Strength is all about control. And it's about control that we find inside of us. So when we're talking about mourning the loss of control, it's about losing control about, uh, in your life. It's about losing control uh, maybe of Megan's control over Harry. Because if you know, if you, talk, if you speak, if you listen to um, uh, A.G. Tudor, he speaks about control very much, a lot, very, uh, quite a lot. And he says that one of the most important things for a narcissist is to uh, assume control over the person that is with them. And if she loses control over him, she will mourn that. So this is about insecurities. This is about lack of control. This is about difficulty in self-fulfillment. This is about let, this is about ego problems. This is about weakness. So these are the things that both of them are going to experience and both of them are going to need to mourn because both of them are going to lose control. She's going to probably lose control over him, but he's going to lose control over his own life, his own, uh, this is a card of insecurities. So his own insecurities, he will find it difficult in self-fulfillment. And this is also a card of addictions and we know that he has addiction. So because this is loss of control, when you have addiction, this, you don't have control over yourself, over your life, over your body. So it, it will only show even, uh, even more, um, let's say, um, fulminant in Harry's life. Okay, so the lessons that Harry will learn from this loss that he didn't know before. And the answer is the Nine of Pentacles. So that's interesting because the Nine of Pentacles is a good card. The Nine of Pentacles speaks about profiting after working hard. So when we're talking about a lesson that Harry will have to learn, so it goes very well with the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is telling Harry that he will have to grasp the opportunity to learn to work hard for the money. And then he will learn the lesson that after working hard, you do get what you deserve. This is about getting paid what you deserve or getting the richness that you deserve after working hard. So it's like a continuation of one another. He will, if he, he will, well, we're, we're, we got those cards in a, in a uh, one, not one after the other, but we all, we got all three cards uh, for Harry. And it is about opportunity to learn, to work hard for the money, even if you're not getting paid a lot, taking that opportunity with it with two hands and then realizing that when you are taking that opportunity, when you are learning to work hard for your money, for your, and whatever success, it's not only money, it's also what every kind of success, you need to work hard for it. You do get that success. So success cannot come without working hard. So this is the lesson that Harry will learn. What lesson will Megan learn? And we get the Page of Cups. Okay. So first of all, the Page of Cups is the artist. Now let's see what kind of, uh, what kind of um, um, process is Megan going through. So Megan is getting the opportunity to become the Queen of Pentacles. 
So the person who controls the material world, the shopkeeper, someone who can uh, be uh, withstand changes and be very stable, someone who can be very uh, well business savvy, someone who can have the money that she wants. And she's taking that opportunity with two hands. And the lesson that she's learning is, first of all, that she's an artist. So this is all about her being an, an, act, an actress. So she will have to utilize her, um, let's say, um, her talents as an actress. So she will have to be, to, to be someone else. So she will have to act in order to achieve that. And this is also about emotional problems. This is also about someone who has emotion, uh, very deep emotional problems, very deep psychological problem. And we know that about Megan. And this is what she will learn about herself and whether or not she will do something about it, it's uh, another question. But this is the process that they will go, and probably not together. So, because the main thing that they will lose in the process is the control that they have over themselves, over one another, and this is a very big thing to, to lose. And it's a major arcana, so it's a very big thing to lose. Okay. So that's the tarot. The oracle is the dark light oracle. So that's one of the oracles that uh, was very recommended for shadow work. So let's see. What does the oracle have to say about Harry and Megan's major change in life? So let's do the deck. Harry and Megan's major change in life. Harry and Megan's major change in life. Okay, the card that I got is Blessings, prayers heard. Let's see. Okay, so what this card is saying that they should count their blessings. And if they count their blessings, then their prayers or what they want can become reality. So this is about having their prayers heard. This is about a getting what they want or getting what they pray for but it can only happen if they can see their own blessings and if they cannot see their own blessings if they, they cannot see what they do have then they are unable to accept what they are getting from the universe because they are always lacking they are always asking for more so this is it for this reading, and I hope you liked it. And if you didn't, did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.